I'm, I'm alive. Thank God. Nearly drowned there. This is why I never wanted to go swimming. I've never been more scared in my life. Again, how the fuck were you a lifeguard, Joe? That's not important right now. We seem to be on some sort of vessel, but how did we get here? I remember being attacked by some sort of sea monster and then nearly blacking out before being pulled in. That's a good question, Barack. Someone or something must have saved us. Who's piloting this sub anyways? Crikey, I must be dreaming. You four, you're the presidents of the United States, the ones who went missing last year. Uh-huh, and you are? Well, mate, my name's Sam, but uh, everyone knows me as Scuba Sam. Bit of a legend around these parts. The real question is, what are you blokes doing in the ocean? I mean, from what I've heard, nobody's seen you in months. It's a really long story, uh, Scuba Sam. I don't suppose you noticed the freaking Titanic sinking, did you? The Titanic? Mate, you sound right mad. Didn't that ship sink like a hundred years ago? It's true. There's forces at work that can only be described as supernatural, especially when it comes to us. Now, thank you for saving us from whatever the hell is out there, but can you bring us back to land now? No can do, mate. You see, my old man and I, we came out here to do some deep sea diving and we found this crazy facility underwater. He went down below to check it out while I manned the sub, but he hasn't responded to any of my distress calls in the past hour or so. I'd love to help you, but there's no way I'm leaving my father down there. Let me guess, you want our help? Would you, mate? I'd really appreciate it. I obviously can't leave the sub unmanned for that long, and with four of you looking, it'd be a lot more efficient. Fuck no! Didn't you fools learn anything from the Ocean Gate incident? Never get on a submarine with your dad in the middle of the ocean. I mean, I'll give you props. You did manage to get closer to the Titanic than those guys did, even if it was unintentional, but this has disaster written all over it. I mean, what choice do we have, Donald? You think we can just swim back to land? We don't even know where we are. Donald does have a point, though. What about that scary sea monster out there? I don't want to get eaten. I didn't get a good look at the bugger, but I reckon you'll be safer inside the facility than in this tin can. Me, personally, I don't care about the risks. I'm not leaving without my dad. But you four will have much better odds in there if this purported sea monster is as vicious as you claim. Don't worry, I'll be in close proximity to the facility. I get where you're coming from, Sam. My dad meant a lot to me, too. We'll do it. Got any more diving suits for us? Sure do. Here you go, Mr. President. Donald, I don't have any in XL, so it might be a tight fit. <laughs> Fuck you, just give me the damn thing. Damn, Donald, he was right. Uh, that suit really brings out your Trumpy Dumpy. Joe! Uh, don't ever say that about me ever again. I know I have a wonderful ass, but I don't need to hear you say it. Wow, thanks for that lovely mental image, Donald. I'm just wondering why the fuck I got stuck with an orange diving suit. I didn't even know these came in other colors. This is just like moon all over again. I look like fucking Vector from Despicable Me. Enough, you three. Sam, what can you tell us about your dad that'll make it easier for us to find him? A name, description, anything that might help. Oh, sure, mate. His name's Dan, but uh, everyone in the diving community calls him Diver Dan. You're, you're, you're kidding, right? Scuba Sam and Diver Dan, how cheesy can you get? Be nice, Donald. Now, Scuba Sam, I have just one very important question for you. You got any ice cream in here? I'm hungry. Preferably chocolate, chocolate chip. No, nah, mate, um, but I have a half-eaten Vegemite sandwich I don't mind sharing. Uh, no, thanks. I think I lost my appetite. Well, now that you're all tizzied up, are you ready to head inside? I can drop you off where I dropped my dad off. Hopefully he didn't wander too far. This place seems right massive. Yeah, I guess we're ready. I promise we'll do everything to bring your dad back. Thanks, Obama, and all of you for that matter. I, I really appreciate you doing this for me. All right, well, masks on, everyone. I'll bring the sub to the entrance. All right, boys, time to really get our feet wet. We have no idea what we're heading into, so make sure to watch each other's backs. This place could be dangerous. Well, we know a thing or two about danger by this point. We'll be fine. Now, how do we get out of here, Sam? Use the tubes in the corners, they'll send you down under. You heard the man. Let's get going. The sooner we find Diver Dan, the sooner we can get out of here. Here goes nothing. Please, Mother Mary, don't let me drown. Hey! Phew, I'm alive. That was scary. Look at this place. It's a whole-ass underwater facility. 
and those excavators, whoever built this place, must have used it for some sort of mining operation. Someone would have to have a lot of money to build and run a place like this. I wonder what happened for it to become abandoned, though. Uh, anyone else noticing the chalk outlines on the wall and the quick revive machine? Don't tell me. <laughs> Great, just what we need, more of these undead fucks. You just had to say something, didn't you, Barry? Right, because me saying that totally spawned in all these zombies out of nowhere. What in the bloody hell is going on down there? I'm seeing lots of movement. I thought this place was abandoned. You might find this hard to believe, Sam, but the place is crawling with zombies. This isn't the first time we've dealt with them. Zombies? This is bad. My father's old. No way he can fend them off. Please, Mr. President, find him quick. We'll do our best, Sam, we promise. Come on, guys, let's look around more. Seems we have a lot of ground to cover. I don't know if it's because we're God knows how many leagues under the sea right now, but this place really gives me the creeps. Like the absence of natural light and being in these murky depths is pretty terrifying. Donald, you may be right, but can we keep the nihilism to a minimum? You're gonna make Joe piss himself. Too late. Damn it, Joe, disgusting. Oh, I don't like being out here one bit. The ocean is too scary for me. Holy shit, a fucking shark. Die, you great white bastard. Damn, Donnie, what did that shark ever do to you? It was just minding its own business. I fucking hate sharks with every fiber of my being. I'd rather die by electrocution than a shark attack. That's why I watch Shark Week every year. Gotta make sure I know how to keep myself safe from those evil creatures. Now that you mention it, I think I remember reading something about you forcing Stormy Daniels to watch it with you after you paid her to suck your mushroom-looking dick. I don't know why you're so afraid of them, considering you never go swimming in the ocean. Uh-huh. And now look at us, literally on the ocean floor, surrounded by sharks. It pays to stay informed, George. Fetch me their souls. That doesn't sound good. Oh, shit. The jumping jackasses from Die Rise are here. Time to bludgeon them to death with this trusty wrench I found. Yo, one of them dropped a key. Wonder if this will be important. I suspect you may be right, Obama. This place probably holds more secrets than we think. Just don't forget, guys, the mission is to find my dad. Trust me. If I could find Osama bin Laden hiding in some cave in the middle of the fucking desert, we can find your dad in a place like this. Well, I guess that is a little comforting. Good news, everyone. The power is on. Good job, Donald. You've probably turned on the power during our adventures more than you've turned on your wife in the past 20 years. Joe just roasted your ass harder than the Comedy Central roast of Donald Trump. You better watch your tone, Joe. I have a really sharp knife with your name on it. All right, lovebirds, that's enough. We should probably check out the next area. Seems there's no sign of Diver Dan in this part of the facility. Well, this room seems interesting. Wonder what kind of things went on down here. It doesn't seem like your normal mining operation. Right, Joe, because you're the forefront expert in mining operations. Ah, uh, shut it, George. Anyways, I see a big red button, so I'm going to press it. What the hell? What the hell is this? A man in a tube? Joe, why would you even push a big red button in a place like this? You could have blown the place up for all we know. My bad. Still, is this dude even alive? Why is he just floating there in the water? Ah, at last. Have you come to liberate me from this prison? Whoa, did he just speak to us? What the fuck is going on here? Wait a second. This cannot be. Donald, my old friend. Is that you? Old friend? The fuck is he talking about, Donald? You know this guy. That voice, but it can't be. It's impossible. Yet here I am, Donald, your old pal. Bet you thought I was dead, didn't you? Jeffrey, how the fuck are you alive? And more importantly, how and why are you in this underwater facility? I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? Nuh-uh, we'll be asking the questions here, you creep. Now spill the beans, because you're supposed to be buried six feet under after your little incident in prison. Very well. I knew my supposed unaliving would raise questions. Truth is, Bill and I orchestrated a plot to make it look like I died in my jail cell. My influence over people reaches farther than you could ever know. The guards who were watching my cell, the ones who conducted the autopsy, even the media, they all did my bidding to make it look like I was gone. I knew I couldn't return to my island, sadly. Lots of great memories there. So I began looking for a new place to begin my operations again. One of my clients, Prince Andrew, sold me this old underwater excavation site. Apparently it was built back in the 70s by the British government. 
but an incident caused every one of the workers here to perish at once. It was the perfect spot. Nobody would be able to get to me. And there was a poetic beauty in the fact that I'd be bringing miners to the mining facility. You are one sick fuck. Give us one good reason not to waste you right here and now. Because you can't. The moment I die, the entire facility is set to be destroyed, wiping out any trace of what has gone on here. I take my client's privacy very seriously. Plus, Donald wouldn't want that, would you, old friend? We had too many good times together. The hell we did. We may have been at a party or two together, but the second I found out about the sick things you were doing behind the scenes, I cut off all contact with you. Yeah, you always were a stick in the mud, never wanting to ride on the Lolita Express with me. Okay, well, another question. Why are you stuck in a cum jar? The stasis tube is what's keeping me alive. I suffered a bit of a health scare a while back. So one of my clients, a real brilliant guy, built this for me. Problem is, I need to be let out, which is where you four come in. Why the hell would we do a thing like that? We're here to find a missing diver. Maybe you've seen him? Ah, uh, yes, the diver. I've seen him, all right. Not sure why you're looking for him, but I can help you find him. If you promise to help me, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You better keep your end of the deal, Jeff, if you know what's good for you. What do we need to do first? You must find the key to my office. In there, you'll find what you need. I can't believe it. Can this adventure get any crazier? Jeffrey fucking Epstein in an underwater facility surrounded by zombies after just having survived the Titanic sinking. What did I do to deserve this fate? Maybe this is your punishment for the countless crimes you've committed, Donald. Only problem with that theory is that I'm here suffering with you. I wonder if the key I found earlier is the one Jeff mentioned. I sure hope so. The last thing I want to do is sit around looking for a key in a huge place like this. Whoa, is that the mystery box? Looks like it got a bit of a glow up. Hopefully there's something more useful in there than this wrench. As fun as it is to beat their brains in. Looks like it's mostly Black Ops 1 style weapons. Just got myself the Commando, which I'm sure is Jeffrey's favorite gun, considering it becomes the Predator when you upgrade it. Yippee! I got the Zap Zap guns from Moon. Joe, you remember how to use those, right? Please don't accidentally fry Donald to a crisp. No promises. Damn you, Joe, watch where you're shooting that thing. All right, guys, let's get serious. No time for petty squabbles. Hey guys, it's Sam, just checking in on things. Any luck finding my dad? Oh, hey, Scuba Sam. As a matter of fact, we found a lead. Turns out, by some stroke of luck, an associate of Donald's was also down here, and he said he's seen your dad. He's gonna help us find him. That's great news. We'll just keep me posted, yeah? Let's find Epstein's office so we can get whatever's inside. You know, going deep sea diving was actually on my bucket list, so I guess if there's a silver line into today, it's crossing that item off. Good for you, Joe. That reminds me, I don't think we've talked about it, but what are your guys' New Year's resolutions? My only goal for this year is to end this madness and be able to retire permanently to Martha's Vineyard with Michael, I mean Michelle. Well, I think we can all agree with that, Barry. Being able to resume my presidential duties is priority number one for me, but I definitely want to add more chocolate chocolate chip to my diet. Uh, hey, dumbass, aren't you supposed to try and eat Healthier as a New Year's resolution? I have never heard anyone say they'd want to eat more junk. Well, Donald, unlike you, I am not morbidly obese, so I can afford to pack on some extra calories. Yo, guys, while you all were bickering, I found some sort of laboratory area. Warning, Warning. excavator pie will cause decompression of biodome. Uh-oh, well, that doesn't sound good. This place really is like a real-life version of the moon zombies map. Surely there's a hacker nearby to stop it? I found the hacker, Barry. I think I remember seeing the control panels for those excavators back at the entrance. I'll try and stop it before it comes and fucks up the place. George, are you sure your hillbilly ass can figure that out? Sounds complicated for someone of your background. I'll prove you wrong, Donald. Here goes nothing. Excavator pie. Control restored. Bazinga. I knew I could do it. Uh, Georgie, did you just say bazinga? like Sheldon Cooper's catchphrase? Oh, well, uh, I, I started watching Young Sheldon after I got the DVD box set for Christmas. It's actually a pretty good show. I feel like it's making me smarter, too. Whoa, nerdy George in our universe? Never thought I'd see the day. 
Yeah. And after you were so mean to your counterpart in Gorod for liking D&D. I mean, I'm not nearly as nerdy as that guy. I'm just more tolerant of such things. I miss those guys. I mean, other Donald was pretty cool, even if he did insult my beautiful hair. I'm just sad that other me, Dark Brandon and I, never got to share an ice cream together. Guys, not trying to brag, but I got the ray gun mark too. No way, me too, Donald. Guess we're both part of the ray gun boys. Yo, found a part, looks important. Well, I just stumbled upon some sort of strange altar. This clearly wasn't man-made, at least not recently. There must be more to this place than meets the eye. I found a weird little piece of something on the ground as well, Donald. Looks out of place, and maybe they go together. I think I saw a workbench around here somewhere. Maybe you can try building something there. Let me see those parts you found. Looks like some sort of trident. I'll try it out. Holy shit, it shoots out water tornadoes. If only it shot out sharknadoes. Now that would be fucking awesome. Fun fact, I almost played the President of the United States in Sharknado 3 before I decided to run for the real thing. You have such a fascinating history with the presidency and sharks, Donald. Like, those two things should not be as connected as they are, but somehow with you, they are. Guys, check it out. I just unlocked this room with the key from earlier. This must be Epstein's office. Keep an eye out for anything that might seem important. Okay, well, this is weird. There's a human skull in his desk. Well, the only thing I see is this creepy painting, which is on brand for Jeffrey. Remember when they raided his home, they found a painting of Bill Clinton wearing a dress? Yeah, Jeffrey is a total weirdo. But still, maybe we should go ask him about the skull. All right, you freaky bastard. We're back. Care to explain the skull in your office? So you found it. Good. I assure you, I have not killed anyone. There were plenty to go around when I got here. I'm sure you have seen the altar in the biodome, yes? It demands an offering. You see, according to the notes left from the workers in the 70s, this place is home to an old god. The Leviathan. It chooses a host, corrupts their minds, and wants to break free from its ocean prison. I believe this is what has happened to your missing diver. I know it sounds ridiculous. I didn't believe it either until I started noticing all the strange things happening when those two divers arrived on their submarine. Lucky for me, you four will stop it before it puts an end to my livelihood. And why on God's green earth do you think we'll do that? Because you have no other choice. I hold all of the cards. Don't worry, I'm a man of my word. It's a win-win for everybody if you just do as you're told. Now, I suggest you head to the altar, place down the skull, complete the ritual, and confront your missing diver. I hate that we really have to listen to this guy, but we don't have a choice. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, well, let's go to the altar. I know the way, so just follow me. That reminds me of this funny meme I saw of a little Sonic the Hedgehog dude, and he says, do you know the way? Joe, that meme is like six years old. I'd almost rather you talk about Skibbity Toilet again than start saying that annoying shit. Joe has always been a little behind the times. I mean, dude probably walks around the White House wearing a nightcap and gown, carrying a little candle when he wakes up to piss at night. Damn it, I do not. When I have to pee at night, I just do it in the bed, then Jill cleans me up. Jesus, Joe, TMI. Let's just put the skull on the altar. There we go. Look, the skull, it's collecting souls of the zombies. Of course it is. No matter where we go, there's always at least one thing that's powered by zombie souls. How do zombies even have souls? I mean, they're dead, right? That's a damn good question, Joe. One we'll never get the answer to, I'm afraid. Uh, guys, there's a portal. I'm guessing Diver Dan is in there. There's a horde of zombies coming, so we'll just have to find out. Everyone in. Okay, well now we're in a room creepier than Joe's basement. Fuck you, Donald. Look, in each corner there are weird glowing orbs of energy. Wonder what those are about. Whoa, they seem to react to the ray gun. Let me try shooting the rest. Obama, you big black genius, you did it. Now I'm not sure what it is, but you definitely did something. This strange energy, I feel it calling to me. Oh shit, what the? Ah!
Oh, my back. Where the fuck are we now? Welcome, presidential zomboys. Who? Who the hell said that? Look over there. You must be here for the diver. Uh, isn't that you? I am merely using this body as a vessel. My true form would be too much for your mortal eyes to handle. For centuries I have ruled over the seven seas. Until you humans began building monuments to your hubris. The land above wasn't enough to satisfy your greed. And so I will take this body and conquer the surface world. Yeah, there's just one teeny tiny problem with that. We're gonna stop you. This is your one chance to put Diver Dan back to normal. The ocean is big enough for us all to coexist peacefully, Mr. Leviathan. You dare make demands of me, mortals. You will suffer greatly for your insolence. I will gut you with my harpoon gun, as your kind half to the inhabitants of the ocean. Shit, get ready, boys. I think we're about to have a fight on our hands. Prepare to enter Davy Jones' locker. Oh shit, look out, guys. Make sure we don't kill him. Sam's dad is still in there somewhere. And if this guy wasn't bad enough, the zombies have made their way here too. What on earth is going on down there? I can't find you guys on my sonar. Well, the good news is we found your dad. Bad news, he's been possessed by fucking Cthulhu or something. Don't worry, Sam, we're gonna save him. You're not lying to me? Please do everything you can to save him. We will, as long as he doesn't kill us first. Let's see you survive this attack. Shit, he's charging up something big, guys. Hide behind these pillars. Hopefully they hold stronger than the Twin Towers did. Even at a time like this, you guys can't give me a break? Well, I guess it's confirmed. Evil godly energy from a possessed diver does not melt stone pillars. There he is again. Let him have it. This is for scaring me so badly back in 2005 on the SpongeBob movie, you Cyclops fuck. I'm sure he's petrified that you're shooting him with the fucking Mauser, Joe. Don't you have any stronger firepower? We'll see how they like a taste of Poseidon's wrath. Oh, dear Neptune, he's charging up again. Everyone hide. I will make you mortals drown in your own blood. Well, that's a disturbing thought, but come on, your attacks are too predictable. We've taken down bigger than you before. This dude is definitely built different, because he survived tons of Ray Gun Mark II shots. Don't get too close. He's strapped with grenades that he keeps dropping. Not gonna lie, though, that's giving me some great ideas for back home with the box of nades I got for Christmas. Barry, every day you surprise me more and more with the fucked up things you want to do to innocent people with explosives. More jumping jacks coming at us. These things must be like super Mexicans or something, because they could clear my border wall with a single leap. Damn it, Donald. Leave it to you to spout the most racist shit out of nowhere. Who in their right mind even thinks of something like that? Especially at a time like this. We all know Donald's head works in fucked up ways. Now come on, let's put an end to the Leviathan's hold on Dan. You're lucky we're friends, Obunga. Otherwise, I'd type up a Twitter thread roasting you, now that I'm unbanned. Hell, I might just do it anyways for shits and giggles. God damn you four argue a lot, and I have to listen to it over the comms. Just hurry up and put a stop to whatever's controlling my father. Sam's right. Everyone focus fire on him. Take this, you big palooka. <gasps> Did that do it? Uh, Dan, you okay? I will not be letting go of this vessel that easily. You may have stopped me for now, but this isn't over. He disappeared. Maybe we should report back to Sam. There's that blue light again. I wonder what it is. Whoa, I feel stronger. Guys, you gotta touch that light. You're right, George. This is just like the Thunderfist from Origins. I can launch these zombies a mile away. Hey, Mr. President, did you all stop that evil creature that was controlling my dad? Well, we defeated it all right, for now anyways. I think we should regroup and talk things over. All right, I'll swing my sub by the power station. Meet me there. Good, that teleporter got us out of that hell hole. Scuba Sam's waiting for us. 
Let's go break the news to him about what happened. All right, Sammy, unfortunately, we couldn't break the Leviathan's hold over your father. We're kind of at a loss on what to do at this point. Damn it, there's gotta be something we can do. I refuse to give up on him. What about Donald's friend that you all ran into down there? Maybe he can help? Please don't call him my friend. Well, that's about the only thing I can think of. Maybe Jeff can help us much as I want to kill the guy. All right, well, that's settled. Oh, and Sam, I hadn't noticed before, but that machine behind you, the Pack-A-Punch, how did you get one on your submarine? Oh, so you know what this thing is? We recovered it from the ocean one day with one of those big magnets. This machine is bigger than the spiders we have in Australia, so we just put it in here until we could find out what it's worth. Looks like it's got something to do with guns, which of course aren't as prevalent in our country as they are yours. But if you guys can get some sort of use out of it, by all means, go right ahead. Thanks, Sam. Honestly, you've been lugging around one of the most powerful creations in all existence. We know how to use it, though. All right, well, let's pap just in case and then go return to Jeffrey. All right, boys. I feel like we'll need all the firepower we can get if we're actually going to take down the Leviathan. Damn right. We'll see how it likes it when I give it a few Boomhilda shots to the face. Bro, this pap camel goes so fucking hard. All right, well, I think we're sufficiently armed for the battle ahead, at least for now. Let's skedaddle. I hate this part. At least I didn't inherit my dad's weak stomach. I'll never forget watching him throw up on the Prime Minister of Japan. Yeah, that was pretty fucking embarrassing for the US on the world stage, not gonna lie. Donald, I don't think you have any right to call someone else an embarrassment to our nation when you look like a walking pumpkin. Bullshit, if anyone should be compared to a vegetable here, it should be President Alzheimer's. Now wait a cotton picking second, what did I do? First off, Joe, don't mention picking cotton near Barack, you're gonna give him PTSD. Secondly, you probably have to ask yourself, what did I do every day because you forget? Donald, I just got a sniper rifle, and I won't hesitate to make an attempt on your life like Lee Harvey Oswald tried to do to JFK. Tried? Oh, wait, I forgot. History was changed. JFK was never shot by Oswald. He died at Morgue City. The others don't know that. Oh, uh, guys, I got some crazy looking harpoon gun. It looks to be the same one Diver Dan was using during our fight. Nice. Just don't accidentally shoot one of us with it. That'd be Guantanamo Bay levels of painful. Now let's go ask Jeffrey if he can help us. All right, Epstein, you evil fuck, we're back. So you are. I take it you found your diver, yes? Yeah, we found him. You were spot on about him being possessed by the Leviathan. Guess you're not as useless as we thought. Problem is, the Leviathan won't let go of his body. He plans on conquering all of the surface world unless we put a stop to him. Do you have anything down here we can use to defeat him? I may be able to help, but don't forget our deal. You owe me. I want out of here. I thought you were recovering from some health problems. Don't you have to stay in that tube for a while? Oh, I don't just mean out of this tube. I mean out of this plane of existence. Okay, and what does that mean? Uh, we're used to different realities and shit, but that's gonna need some more explaining. Very well. It is probably more complicated than you simpletons could fathom, but here's the short version. The same scientist I mentioned earlier, who built this tube for me. He had a theory. It involved black holes being amplified by objects of immense power. Objects that I have in my possession in this facility. So you want us to find them, and they're gonna somehow transport you to another plane of existence or some shit, right? It's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. The scientist is still down here somewhere. He can help you find the objects. Not that I really give a shit about what happens to you, but isn't that a big risk to take based on some Matt Pat level theory? Like I said, this guy's brilliant. I know it'll work. He's been loyal to me for a long time, ever since the island days. That fucking island, Little St. James. Such an innocent name for a hellish place. Honestly, it's probably worse than when we were on the island of despair, where we met Yamato. All right, Jeffrey, so this associate of yours, where is he? That's a good question. I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm thinking maybe something happened to him. Just keep an eye and ear out. I'm sure you'll run into him. Well, that's not a lot to go off of, but okay, I guess we'll get to looking. All right, guys, keep your eyes peeled for Jeffrey's scientist, buddy. I was naive thinking fighting zombies underwater would be fun. This has just been a wild goose chase. 
If it's anything like this, I hope Treyarch never makes an Atlantis map. Well, this is real life. It's not supposed to be fun. We're fighting for our lives. Besides, we already got a goaded underwater zombies map. Exo zombies descent. Fucking gross. Exo zombies sucks. Besides, you literally only go underwater during one step of that map's Easter egg. For the rest, you're inside a building that just happens to be underwater. Damn, George is spitting. Joe probably thinks Descent is a top 10 map like fucking Noah J456. What the? I hear a strange banging sound. Is someone there? I could really use some assistance. Where are you? I'm stuck behind this door. Please help me out. Everyone over here. I think I found the guy Jeffrey was talking about. This is President Obama speaking. Who's in there? Barack Obama? We've met before. What are you doing here? Listen, I've met lots of people. You'll have to be more specific. You can free me. I'll gladly reveal myself. I'm actually quite famous. No doubt someone on Epstein's list. No wonder he doesn't want to reveal himself. Just listen for a sec. There's a massive steam leak happening, and it's getting quite hard to see. There are a bunch of valves around the facility. I need you to turn them. Problem is, you're going to need a spare wheel to turn them and lower the pressure. If we don't take care of this, the consequences for the facility could be catastrophic for all of us. Where are we supposed to find a spare valve wheel? Did you say you need a wheel? I think I have just what you need. Come back to the submarine and I'll give it to you. Hell yeah, Scuba Sam coming in clutch. Yo, was this portal here before? A portal, huh? Let's see where it goes. What the? This looks a lot like Samantha's bedroom. Do you think Jeffrey made that portal to teleport himself into little kids' bedrooms? Monsters, Inc. style? I don't know, but that shark mask looks interesting. Maybe it'll help us blend in with those horrid creatures. Wow, we all look so cute with these shark masks on. Don't call me cute ever again, Joe. Let's just head to Sam's submarine. All right, got the wheel. Thanks, Sam. Ah, oh, don't mention it, mate. Good luck out there. All right, now keep an eye out for some leaky valves. Found a pipe. Looks like it's missing a valve. I'll tighten it. Uh, how many of these did Sam give you, Barry? Oh, he's got plenty. My dad and I would always pick up those things with our big old fishing magnet. And I swear, people throw anything in the oceans these days. But we do our part to keep the Great Barrier Reef clean. It's always nice to see young people actually care about the environment. Yeah, not gonna lie, back when I was a teenager, my friends and I would throw beer cans into the local river. Well, you don't do it anymore, right, Georgie? Well, I stopped drinking Bud Light after they went woke. I don't think you know what woke is, George, but hey, if it keeps you from putting that piss water into your stomach, I guess it's a win. Well, Laura agrees with you there, Joe. Anyways, found another valve. I found one, too. It would be nice if we could just go one day without having to deal with hordes of the undead. I wonder what causes them to be attracted to us no matter where we go. They're probably after Trump's dump truck. Joe, stop talking about my ass like that. OK, but on a serious note, like Monty said, it's probably got something to do with our connection to the ether. We haven't heard from Monty in a while, thankfully. And that new voice we heard after beating the eye of Odin, she said she could protect us from him. Yeah, I trust a disembodied voice about as much as I'd trust letting Bill Cosby pour me a drink, which is to say not at fucking all. Your hesitancy is definitely shared among the rest of us, Donnie. It's hard to trust people after all we've been through. I definitely don't trust Epstein. Well, on the bright side, the pressure has been appropriately recalibrated. Hopefully this scientist dude can reach us now. Let's go check it out. Open up, bitch. We solved your steam problem. Thank you, I'm coming out. Do not be alarmed when you see me. Come on out, it's safe for now. Very well, I'm opening the door. Greetings, Mr. Presidents. This sure wasn't the cavalry I was expecting. Oh my God, it's Bill Nye. Joe, you buffoon, that's Stephen Hawking. We literally met him at the White House. Oh yeah, I remember now. I loved you in Dead Poets Society. Joe, that was Ethan Hawke, not Stephen Hawking. Uh, is no one going to point out the fact that this motherfucker is walking and talking like a normal human being? Yes, well, you see, all of that was merely an act to build my fame. Sure, I was a genius, but that can only get you so far. Playing the role of a disabled intellect assured my stardom. Nobody was going to tell me I was wrong because they'd fear being cancelled. But you were an inspiration to millions. I can't believe you'd do such a thing. And I still am. So long as nobody finds out the truth, we all have skeletons in our closets. My deception isn't even the worst of mine. Yeah, like being buddy-buddy with Jeffrey fucking Epstein. I didn't know you liked him young, you creep. Judge me all you want, 
But since you saved me, I owe you. Well, according to Jeffrey, we're looking for supposed objects of power for some theory of yours involving black holes. So you four are going to put my theory to the test? Very well. I can guide you to one of the objects, follow me, and make sure I don't get eaten by those flesh munchers. All right, Stephen, let's get a move on. Time is of the essence. Right, follow me. I think it's this way. You think? I swear you're getting to sound like Joe now. No, I mean, it is definitely this way. For your sake, I hope you're right. Yes, well, just keep the zombies off of me. Seeing you walk around and talk like a normal person is pretty cursed, not gonna lie. I said keep them away from me. I can't defend myself. Get up, you pussy. These zombies aren't even that bad. They aren't the biting type, usually anyways. If you can't take a couple bitch slaps from them, then you deserve to be in that chair. Okay, that's kind of fucked up, Donald. But then again, he was on Epstein's island. I never knew Albert Einstein had an island. Were you all doing math equations together? Einstein? He died nearly 70 years ago. Are you slow in the head? Actually, don't answer that. All right, are we almost there? You don't seem to be moving with a sense of purpose. I'm just trying to remember. I thought you were some sort of genius. You've literally just walked us in a big fucking circle. We're back at the fucking labs where we started. I just remembered where it is. Follow me. Here we go, right behind this door up ahead. About damn time, I swear, my bunions were starting to get bunions. Goodbye, my friends. Here is your reward. There are plenty, and they can amplify the power of your harpoon gun, Donald. No way, is that Walter White's blue crystal meth? Of course, that's where your mind goes, Obama. Well, let's grab some of these. I think I saw a workbench in the lab for this harpoon gun. If I can make it more powerful, I damn sure will. Okay, well, that's one of the objects. What about the other two? It's just a hunch, but I'm thinking maybe there's some clues in Jeffrey's office. I mean, if these things are as important as he's claiming, surely he'd have at least one close to him. Wow, Joe, that is actually the smartest thing I've heard you say all day. Well, I just fitted this crystal to the front of the harpoon gun. Not sure what this does, but we're gonna find out soon enough. For now, let's go check Epstein's office. This painting still gives me the creeps. Why are the eyes glowing like that? Yeah, even by Epstein's standards, this is sus as hell. Oh shit, I knocked it down. Is that the Vril device? How did Jeffrey get his hands on this? After all, we fused it with the focusing stone on Moon. I think we better go ask him some more questions. Yo, Jeff, how in the hell did you manage to get your hands on this artifact? Ah, uh, yes, the Vril device. I came into possession of it from a very interesting third party a few months back. I never knew what it did, until one day I began hearing voices and seeing visions. I thought I was crazy at first, but these otherworldly entities told me they came from a place called the Ether. And since then, I have been obsessed with making my way there to experience pleasures not of this earthly realm. Like George said earlier, we don't really give a fuck what happens to you. But I'm telling you from experience, the Ether is not all it's cracked up to be. And I was in control of it. It would make someone like you more twisted and fucked up than you already are. Donald, you... you've been there? Bullshit, I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me. Just tell us where this last item is so we can free you and stop the Leviathan. The last item is a piece of highly concentrated uranium. Safe for human hands, though, don't worry. You'll have to go outside to the processing chamber and turn it on. To refine the uranium, the vessel is fed with souls. I'm sure the zombies will work just fine. Wow, so a soul box, who would have guessed? All right, let's go find this uranium then. I think I saw some sort of big refinery by the speed cola machine outside. That has to be what Jeffrey was talking about. Did I hear him say something about uranium? That can't be safe. Mate, I think you're getting played like a didgeridoo. We don't really have any alternate choices. We'll be careful, Sam, don't worry. Anyways, this must be the thingy Jeff was talking about. Time to start collecting souls like we're the fucking Grim Reaper then. Turn that shit on. Damn, why did that line actually go kind of hard? I really hope this uranium doesn't make me grow a new arm or something like some fallout type shit. Who knows? Maybe it'll make you grow a new brain, Sleepy Joe. Yep, saw that one coming. Anyways, the tank is full. Now what? Oh dear. The uranium refinery overloaded the electrical grid. The power is out. You must turn on the backup generators. 
or my tank will run out of oxygen, and I'll die. Well, as much as I'd love to let Jeffrey here pass away, if we don't save him, we're all doomed. But I'm scared of the dark, especially with zombies crawling around the place. Where's my nightlight? Joe, I am really trying my best to hold back from roasting the fuck out of you right now. Enough petty squabbles, you two. I found one of the backup generators. What the shit? We're locked in. This is giving me flashbacks to the China virus. The lockdown is temporary as the generator turns on. Stay vigilant, my friend. For the last time, we are not friends you creepier than Joe fuck. What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what Donald meant. Did you miss me? What the? Oh, fuck, it's Diver Dan. You will not stop what is coming. I will drag entire continents down into the infinite depths of the ocean. Over our dead bodies. I will be reborn again. Safe to say that's not the last we've seen of corrupted Diver Dan. The lockdown's been lifted. Come on, guys. It's hard to listen to my father being possessed by that thing. We have to save him. We've got this, Sam. Don't worry. Here's the next generator. Get ready for another lockdown. This sure is a lot of work for some uranium. I better be able to take some of this supercharged stuff back home. I could probably get the Pentagon to make a weapon of mass destruction capable of wiping Iran off the map. God damn, Obama. Are you going through puberty again? Your voice just cracked like three fucking times. Shut up, Donald. The lockdown is over. Let's get out of here. Man, this must be how Joe feels all the time. Just walking around totally in the dark. Will you shut up, man? Just turn the damn generator on before I mollywhop you. Now that's something I'd like to see. You two should do a boxing match for the presidency like those loser YouTubers do, only without the rigged results. Well, Joe has a history of rigging things against me, so I doubt he'd agree to it. Plus, his skeleton-looking ass wouldn't want to catch these hands. I was in the WWE for crying out loud. Give me a break, Donnie. That shit was faker than your hair. You've turned on all three of the backup generators. Now just flip the breaker in the monitor room. It's the big room with a bunch of TV screens. You can't miss it. You heard the guy. Let's find this switch. Flip that switch. Power restored to facility. Oh, finally, I can see you guys again. It was dark as hell down there. Don't worry, Sam. We're close to being done with this fetch quest, so we should be able to... The hell was that? Shit, something just hit the sub. It's going down. Ah! Sam? Sam, speak to us. What the fuck just happened? Something very bad just happened. Come on, we gotta try and find his submarine. We can't let him die. This is just fucking great. That sub was also our ticket out of here. I just hope Sam survived. He's been so helpful, he doesn't deserve to die down here. Guys, I think I found something. Come over to my location right now. That sub, it's definitely Sam's. I'm gonna go inside and see if he's alive. Damn it. There was no sign of him in there at all. There was blood along the interiors, though. He could have been thrown out the back when it exploded. Was this an accident or something else? Now what? We promised we'd save his dad, but we couldn't even keep him safe. Damn it, why does this keep happening to us? I know it sucks, but moping isn't going to help anyone. We need to find a way out of here more than anything. It's probably a stretch, but maybe Jeff can help us. All right, Jeffrey, we got you these three items you were looking for, but unfortunately something went wrong with our submarine and we're kind of stranded here. Well, Barack, that is unfortunate news, but you know what they say? No loose ends. Are, are you saying you're responsible for what happened to Scuba Sam? You sick fuck, we should just kill you right here and now. Let's not get too hasty, Mr. President. Remember, if I die, this whole place goes down with me. Face it. I've won, and you've lost. Damn it, he's got a point. Why would you do this, though? Sam was an innocent bystander just trying to save his dad. Truth is, I'm just a man who doesn't care if the world burns. I'll be in Agartha soon enough. Now, place the items over there, or else I'll take my own life for real, killing you four in the process. Fuck, he's really got us backed up in a corner here. What do we do, guys? I don't think we have a choice. We've got to give him what he wants. All right, you sick motherfucker, you've got your items. Very good. Now, you must create a black hole. I believe there is an object capable of doing such a thing in the magic box. A Gersh device? Donnie, didn't you get those earlier? Sure did. Goodbye, Jeffrey, you sick fuck. If this actually works, I hope the ether is hell for you. Yes! I see it. 
The gateway's open, finally. So long, Mr. President. If I were you, I'd head to the submarine room. Maybe you can escape before this place is destroyed. <laughs> destroyed? What is he talking about? Emergency warning. Instability of facility infrastructure at critical levels. All personnel is advised to evacuate immediately. This is not a drill. Oh shit, he two-timed us. We gotta get out of here before we sink with the rest of this place. Come on, guys. I think I remember seeing a submarine up ahead in one of the rooms. That's our best chance out of here. All right, get ready to jump inside, boys. Hopefully this thing isn't too hard to pilot. I'll take the wheel. This can't be too different from my Air Force days. Hey, look, a boat. Maybe someone on board can help us. Somehow I doubt we'd get that lucky. Still, it's worth checking out. Let's hop on board. Well, this place looks just as desolate as the facility. Oh, no. You are not alone. Uh, guys, look over there. The time for games is over. Now I will show you my full power. There will be no stopping the full force of the Leviathan. Detecting Leviathan class. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? What the fuck is that? We're all gonna die. And if the giant sea creature wasn't enough, there are hordes of zombies too. Joe, can't you hit this thing with a Biden blast? I, I can't. I can only use it during specific moments. I mean, this seems like a pretty fucking good time to be able to use it, Joe. This is like the biggest creature we've ever faced by a landslide. There is nothing you mortals can do to stop us. Oh, fuck! He's got a laser beam attack. Take cover. It's got to have some weakness. I refuse to be fish food. Let's just pray our packed weapons will be enough to take it down. Maybe we should focus on the tentacles. Good idea. The last thing I want is to be grabbed by this thing. I've seen too much hentai to know what that would lead to. I'm too focused on surviving to even acknowledge what you just said, Donald. If we actually make it out of here, I am never stepping foot near the ocean ever again. God damn, I can only imagine what having one of those tentacles slammed down on you would feel like. Watch where you step, boys. Guys, I think it's charging up something big. Take cover immediately. You will now feel the full force of the Leviathan's wrath. Holy shit. We can't let this thing win. It'd decimate entire cities if it wanted to. Wait a sec, where is it going? We must regain our energy. You can play with the diver for now. There he is, Diver Dan. We know you're still in there. Your son died trying to save you. You have to break free. Your words are useless. This body belongs to me now. He's not gonna listen to reason. We have to defeat him. We're so sorry, Dan, but it's our survival or yours. No! We got him. Now we just gotta take out the big bastard behind all of this. Well, Tharshi fucking blows. Get ready to give it every bullet we've got. Between this and Voyage of Despair, I'm completely done with water and boats after today. I mean, Barry, given your people's history with drownings, I figured you wouldn't have been a fan to begin with. Joe, remind me to punch Donald after we kill this thing. Aye, aye, Captain. Keep shooting it. Is it dead? Did we actually do it? I, I think so. Let's fucking go, boys. Michelle is never gonna believe this. Great, we killed the massive fucking sea monster. Now what? We still don't have a way out of here. That's a very good question. Being stranded at sea is not how I want to die. <coughs> Did you all hear that? Look, over there. Where in the bloody hell am I? Why am I on a boat with presidents of the United States? That is a long story. You must be Diver Dan, aren't you? That's right, mate. Last thing I remember is coming out here with my son, young guy, mid-twenties, blonde shaggy hair and a beard. Have you seen him? I'm so sorry, Dan. But Sam, he, he didn't make it. Mate, tell me you're joking right now, my boy. He can't be. For what it's worth, Mr. Dan, he saved us. And ultimately, 
in aiding us in stopping the creature that took control of you. He saved potentially millions of lives. That sounds like my Sam, always willing to lend a helping hand. Trust us, your son is a hero in every sense of the word. But we really did try and save him the way he saved us. Why are you all talking about me like I kicked the bucket? Hold on a sec. That voice. Son, you're alive. You're damn right I am. It's going to take more than an explosion to take me down. I'm Scuba Sam, after all. But I'm just glad you're okay, Dad. Thanks to my new mates here. Are you okay, though, son? We should probably get you to a hospital. Yeah, kind of had to fight off a bloody shark. I sent that Noah swimming home to mummy, though. You're officially my new hero, Sam. Fuck sharks. Great, we got a happy ending. Now what, guys? We still need to find the other sentinel artifacts. Well, I got no clue what a sentinel artifact is, but we should really take that sub and head back to the mainland. You have done well, my heroes. The old god of the sea prevented me from assisting you. But now you may continue your journey. It's that mysterious voice again. Tell us who you are and what we have to do. All questions will be answered in due time, Barak. Now step into the portal. But be warned, the path ahead is filled with danger. My light will guide you along the way. Uh, who are you talking to? Sorry, gentlemen, but we gotta go. We'll never forget the legendary Scuba Sam and Diver Dan. We appreciate your help today. Right, but where are you gents gonna go? We're in the middle of the ocean. Holy smokes, Dad. Look, a magic portal just opened up. We gotta go. The fate of the universe rests in our hands. If you could keep meeting us on the down low, we'd appreciate it, by the way. So long, guys. Well, this has officially been the weirdest day of my life. No fucking kidding. <laughs> Say, Dad, how about we head home and fire up some shrimp on the barbie? That sounds like a splendid idea.